Spencer, and there you are! Oh, I've got great news! So many wonderful things have been happening here in the zoo. I just cannot wait to show you. Oh, I mean, look at this. Look at all the people. Can you believe how busy this island is? Well, what's this? Congratulations! You reached the Conser Conservation Achievement Award in recognition of your 10th animal to be released to the wild. Which is something we've been doing. The fish have been breeding like absolute mad. Oh, yes, yes, yes! And now we have three stars! This should totally help in turn. We have gotten so much help left and right, and I will introduce you to that help in just a second. I just have to introduce you to one of our new little babies! Look! Look, 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 look! Right over here! Right over here! Look at this! Little baby I I, isn't it just the cutest thing? It's so tiny. And there's mom and dad over here. Congratulations, I I parents. They spend most of their day uh, with their head in the water bowl. Actually, I've noticed. But oh, isn't that just so wonderful? They're a wee little one. It's just so tiny. It reminds me a little bit of a kitten. In turn, oh, and the mahi mahi are laying more eggs. Those clownfish. Oh, and look how happy all the the guests are. Celebrating the new baby I I. Oh, how exciting. And oh yes, we've been having fish born left and right and turn. It has been oh, there goes another one. Whoops, and I'm walking into a tree. I'm so excited. But yes, it has been absolutely exciting. And thankfully, our koala situation is about to be ramified. We have had unhappy, miserable koalas for so long now. I've been very worried about them. But we just received a generous donation from Shorty Gaming Company. And so I'm hoping, since they really love koalas, they wanted to sponsor and adopt our koala pen. And I'm hoping with the money that they gave us, we will be able... Let me see. Yes! We're going to hopefully be able to start cheering our koalas up with some enrichment items, some proper little hideouts. Koalas are very territorial animals, so I don't think that they're very happy that they haven't had their own little spots to kind of relax, unwind, declare their own territory. Oh good, now we've got the elevated food dish and the elevated water dish. In turn, I think our koalas are gonna be all right. Today is actually koala rescue day because out of all the animals in the zoo, our koalas are the ones who are feeling pretty darn miserable right now. And that is just not going to do. Did you know, by the way, in turn, that koalas are called drop bears in Australia? I did not know this. I actually spent quite a bit of time trying to research and get to the bottom of why our koalas are so miserable. I learned that they have very complicated political situations. They really, really, really like to have their own territory. You'll have an alpha male that distributes himself over one territory. He has his little harem of females that he guards over, and he will chase off any of the lesser males who try to get close to his ladies. Alright, so hopefully... Alright, will you guys try those out? Please? Oh, good, good, good! Going to use the elevated nest box! Alright, let's get down here and observe their behavior in turn. Oh, oh, oh! Yep, yep, yep! We release so many fish, you have no idea in turn. Oh, but hang on! Hang in there, little one! It's koala rescue day! We will rescue you! Oh, good, good, good! Nest box usage! Good, 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 good! Oh, that looks like a much more content koala. I was amazed to find out that much of the, the koala population that's left actually distributes itself through the suburbs of Australia. I was really surprised, but that's because there's been so much development. I had no idea, but apparently the Australian forests are being cleared at the same rate as the um, Amazon forests are, which is really tremendous. That's a lot. All right, we still have some unhappy koalas. All right, let's try getting some more lookout nest boxes. Maybe we just need to have a ton of these. One for every koala to begin with. Because they do have their own trees. They develop a home range and they stick to their trees. Let's see. Is that gonna help? Do you not want your lookout post right now? You want... That's right. Everybody wants to go up into their own little nest box. Everyone needs a good snooze. Koala number two is feeling a little bit better. Oh good, and the research for the elevated food is complete. Ah, oh, the water, water first. Oh, that'll be so fun. I think that they'll be much happier being able to climb up into one of these awesome elevated water dishes. Oh, and the Sumatran rabbit is gonna give birth! I'm so excited! Then they would drinking water on the ground. And I just assume that because they, they like to be high up, you know what I mean? Look at them! They're moving and grooving! Hopefully they'll start being a little happier. Yay! And the Sumatran striped rabbit gave birth! Alright, and we'll put this eucalyptus leaf thing right there. And we'll clear up the bits on the ground. But yeah, hopefully they'll be more- whoopsie-daisy. They'll be more comfortable 
being up in their their high dish boxes and things like that. Oh, look at her go! Climb, climb, climb! How many can use it at once, I wonder? Oh, she just jumped right up there. Where are you going, good sir? He's gonna go poop. That's fine. I think, yeah, he is definitely marking his territory. So let's get down here. Clean this up a little bit. We'll leave a few of the eucalyptus things on the ground just in case. Hmm. Oh, good. I think they're doing a little better. Now where are you going, my good friend? Gonna go drink water. They're testing all these things out and getting a little bit happier. Still not 100% happy, but we will figure this out because we have the opportunity. There we go. See, everyone's moving around. Oh, look at that. <gasps> look at that. We have a happy eater. Oh, look at you. Oh my goodness, your ears. Your adorable ears. Whoa, whoa, he nearly jumped on me. No wonder you're a drop bear. Oh my goodness, that was so cute. But yes, so I was really stunned because I would think that the koala, such an iconic animal, uh, would have a very stable population. But actually, in the last decade alone, its population has fallen by, I think it was something really high, 50 to 80%. It was, it was amazing. It's mostly because of development. Highways are being developed. Oh, look, we finally have happy koalas. They're finally getting in a better mood. Oh, that's wonderful. Maybe we'll have some, oh, what was that? Mating call? A mating call is going on? Now that they're, they're not so stressed about being able to get their food and their water, it seems like they're more willing to spend a little bit of time getting to know each other a bit better. Oh, look, look, look. We're just getting stars left and right in turn. I knew adopting out those bazillion and a half little little fish was going to help. You never know when the fish might help, but that definitely helped. Oh, we're finally going to have happy koalas. I am so relieved. It was making my heart heavy going to bed every night, knowing that these guys were so miserable. We want to provide the best we can for all of our animals. And by the way, in turn, don't worry. Your observant eyes helped me rescue that poor little bird that we trapped under that bridge. And the birds are quite happy. There we go. There we go. So they're doing much better. In fact, I think we just, well, except for the fact that they don't like the dirty water. We'll jump in real fast. Clean this up. Careful there, my friend. I might need to make this a little bit, a little bit easier for them to get in and out of. Let's check on the birds for just a second more. Hmm. Are you okay there? Are you having a little bit of trouble? Let's see. Let us... Alright, in turn, grab the shovel, my dear friend. And we are going to smooth that out a little bit. Do 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 there we go. Now the birds can get in and out just fine. All right, and then we gotta come over here, clean this water up, and then we're gonna go, oh my gosh, the mahi-mahi. <gasps> oh. They're just so beautiful. I'm not surprised that we have managed to get, oh my gosh, I love it in here. I wonder if there's any orange roughy that we can adopt. Whoopsie daisy, oh, that's right. Oh, already getting dirty. Ooh, 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 but intern, I think we have enough stars. We have enough stars that we can put our filter in here. Oh my gosh. I knew giving away all those fish was, well, giving away, releasing them to the wild, which is very essential. I really can't think of very many animals that wouldn't be a boon in the wild to have added to the world at this point. All right, there we go. All right, today is koala focus. We're rescuing our koalas. Oh, they're so much happier already. We just needed the right tools for them. Look at that. Look at that. And let me see, in turn, I'm going to check if we have... <laughs> let's see, let's see, let's see. Have you given me koala names? Oh, I do actually have a few koala names. This is exciting. And hopefully they'll be having babies very soon as they get their, their little koala selves established. So this is a boy. And one of the names we have for him is Belarius. And then this is a girl. And one of the names we have for her is Bolivia. Oops, Bolivia. And then as we have more more koalas born into the zoo, we're gonna need more names in turn, because I just have these four to start with. For the four koalas. Oh yes, and our cassowary is laying an egg. We're gonna have to look at the green egg. I'm so excited. All right, all right. Oh, there's the koala again. Hello, little one. And then we have Bulgaria. 
And if I can find the last one over here. No, this is Bolivia. Hello, Bolivia. We're going to make some of our guests have to do a little bit of research on their geography to understand some of their names. Oh, and we're having eggs laid left and right. Oh, this is so much better. There we go. Oh, we're going to have to go lay to the egg. Okay, okay. And then finally... Uh, let's see. What? Hmm. Bulgaria. Valerius. Right? Valerius. Right. And then Bulgaria. Oh, this one's supposed to be Romania. There we go. I had the, the girls and the boys mixed up for a second there in turn. All right, come here. Eh. Eh. Oh, guests need more donation boxes. I will get on that. Come here, little one. Oh my gosh, look how happy he looks. This is a much happier koala. There you go, little one. Little scrub scrub behind the ears. Did you know, as a protected animal in Australia, they are illegal in turn. Oh, and the, <laughs> the bird just gave birth and it's already pregnant again. They are illegal to pick up or touch, performing territorial call. I wonder if this guy right here is one of the dominant males. Let's see. And then this is Bulgaria, I believe. Oops, not Bulgaria, though that's a pretty cool Bulgaria. There we go. There we go. Okay, let's go look at the cassowary egg real fast. <gasps> look at all our cassowaries! They're so amazing. Oh, and there's more eggs. Like, oh, look, 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 we found it. Another cassowary egg. I'm so excited. I love these eggs. They're beautiful. Oh, my goodness gracious. And the eye eye is doing well. And we've got, oh, northern cassowary four is now pregnant. Yes, we're going to have so many cassowary eggs. Oh, wonderful. Is there anything else that I can get these guys? Since we've, oh, we can get them some, some ice blocks to play with. Maybe a pursuit ball to chase and defend their territory. We need to make sure we have plenty of fruit plants in here so that they don't have to fight over the different territories. Oh, and luckily for you guys, in this tank, all of your fish babies are what has... Just, apparently, we became famous. Like, we got so many stars for releasing so many fish to the world, which I'm fine with in turn because it means we can do things like this. Add in a filter and set the filter schedule to frequent. And in fact, we're going to add in a few filters. <laughs> And they're all going to be set to frequent, hopefully. And there. That should help keep this area nice and clean. Oh my goodness. We're going to have to come spend some time in this tank pretty soon. Oh. But we're almost done. See, look. The koala area just still looks so sparse. They like their nice thick forest. Oop, oop, oop. What's this? Bulgaria. That was some hearts over your head, sir. What's going on here? Hmm, no mates yet. We might have koala babies soon. That would be so exciting. All right, let's do a little more research. And I found out, by the way, intern, that these guys are located almost exclusively. Let's clean you up. Let's clean you up. Almost exclusively on the east side of Australia, which, again, I didn't know. Are you going to climb that tree? You're not going to climb that tree? That's fine. All right, anything else I can get you? We'll look into some more plants for them in just a second. I want to give the cassowaries their pursuit ball and their little blocks of ice. Oh, they're so cool. Also, it's so dark in turn. Let's get some posts with uh, a little bit of light for our guest. Also, we definitely need to try to take care of that challenge that our bosses gave us to get some pictures. They, you know, they, they're on the other side of the world right now, so they really prefer having a few pictures now and then to prove that we're doing what we say we're doing over here. All of the awesome work that we're trying so hard for. All right, let's see. Where, oh, where are we with our posts? Oh, so many new things. This this is really a successful island zoo. And I'm so happy about that. Except that people really, really, really want to have better food. We'll work on that soon too, intern. Tomorrow, indeed. We might relax and unwind with that. Tomorrow, or maybe we'll pull an all-nighter. Let's see, should we use those lights? Or I'm kind of feeling the tiki torches a little bit more. You know, give it that island feel. All right, put that down here, that down here. Why not another one right there? Sure, sure. And then you right there. Gotta help light the way for our guest. Cause it can get a little bit dark during the, the time when the sun disappears behind the clouds here. 
Hopefully monsoon weather isn't too intense here. All right, can I put you there? Whoops, that's inside a tree. Maybe not. All right, put you there. Mm, put you there. Put you here. There we go. Oops. Well, you guys. Hang on, I'm coming. Ooh, Northern Kissery 4 is gonna lay her egg already. All right, let's clean this. I wonder if we can put a filter on this. Let's examine that. And then let us go and deck out to the koala exhibit a little bit more with some plants. Hmm, might need to tinker with the water over here a little bit. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, for just a second there. Ah, oh, I think we can. There! That would make life so much easier. And another cassowary egg! Can we put it next to the other cassowary egg? I need to research a little bit more about cassowary... cassowary eggs and cassowary mating, but I do believe... <gasps> look at... Oh, that's a small toy ball! I was like, look at the purple egg! No, 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 no. Where, oh, where is the other cassowary egg? Where, oh, where is the egg? Whoops, I'm in a tree. All right, they've got those. Cleaning up that. Replenish the insects. Little cassowary egg, little cassowary egg. I'm so happy to see you, little cassowary egg. Let's see. Peace, 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 peace. I put too much greenery in here, intern. I can't see. Can't see the other egg. I think she laid it back here. Hmm. That's bird poop. These are their pursuit balls. Oh, there it is! Look! It was so well hidden! We must have walked by it several times. Now that's a crafty mama. Very crafty mama, Cassowary number four. We need names for her, too. Alright, koalas, how's it going over here? Just standing around again. Hmm. Maybe they need more trees in turn, because they do like to climb their trees. Hmm. We, we won't rest till we get to the bottom of this koala -ness. I think they're, they're a lot more delicate and sensitive animals than we've originally guessed that they would be. Alright, All right, let's see. What, what can we do for you, my dear? We're gonna make sure this goes well. Tropical rainforest biome plants. Alright, we'll set that up. Ooh, there we go. Nice pomegranate tree. Let's see. Alright, tropical rainforest. Tropical rainforest, please. Tropical rainforest. There we go. Alright, let's get you some trees that you can sit back, relax, enjoy, hopefully climb. Um, oh, rainbow eucalyptus! Rainbow eucalyptus! Alright, let's put that there. That here, that here. Let's see if this does anything for them. Adding in some trees that are a little more, a little more their style. I hope it does something. Well, they're moving. They're moving and grooving. Moving and grooving to go poop. Hmm. Keeping an eye on you guys. Keeping an eye on you guys. All right, let's try this. Tropical rainforest biome. Well, it's so brown. Why is it have to be so brown? So brown. Whoops. Got a little over zillious there. All right, there we go. Changing this up a little bit. Hang on, koalas. We'll put the water back in. I know you don't like it when we suddenly shift your, your little exhibit up. Don't worry, it'll come back. I need you to move though. I don't want to just... Bolivia, come over here, darling. I don't want to just like dump you in the water all of a sudden. You too, Zookeeper, watch out. Oh, there we go. This is looking nice. There! Nice, nice, nice. A little bit of dirt patches. Ugh. The brown, brown everywhere, but we'll fix it by adding tons of ferns. Hopefully that'll help. And hopefully- alright, they're moving around. I think they're figuring it out. They need to work out somehow. Let's see, objects and enrichment objects they can use. I haven't seen any of them use the enrichment objects yet, so let's make sure that they can access their enrichment objects. It's looking more foresty over here, I approve of that. Alright. Come here, come here lookout post. Maybe we need it to be like this, then like that. Valerius, can you use it? What about you? Hmm? 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 Oh, they're so adorable. But don't be confused, they can be quite aggressive, especially when they're defending their territory in turn. So you always want to be cautious. All right, whoops, I don't want to remove. That's better. 
Are right, you gonna climb the tree? Oh, going to mate with Bolivia! Mating with Bolivia! We have mating in turn! Oh my goodness! Okay, Bolivia, we better not groom her right now in turn. That would interrupt the delicate mating. Oh, look at that! He does look like one of the alpha males. He's got the dark patch on his chest. That is actually a scent gland where they will release uh, scent marks, pher pheromones. There you go. Bolivia, are you expecting a pregnancy test on our on our little... Nope, nope, she's not pregnant this time. But koalas will actually mate with each other anytime there is a given opportunity. So most likely we'll have a lot more of that mating going on pretty soon. And to try to help them... Uh, feel comfortable. Let's go ahead and add in a few few things in here. Let's see. Hmm. Java fern? Java fern's kind of garishly bright, but I think it'll be okay in patches. Alright, let's tuck those over here. Over here. Oh, Romania is now pregnant. Oh, oh, oh. Who's the daddy? Romania? Bulgaria, who does seem to be the alpha male. He just made it with both the females, so it seems like he is indeed the one who rules the roost here. Oh, that's fantastic! So now we are going to be having some koala babies. We just need to make sure that everything is koala perfection here. And hopefully, let's get an educator out here too. So that we can have an educator explain to people that you shouldn't think the koala is not having trouble because deforestation is absolutely destroying their numbers. It's kind of startling to realize just how quickly they are, they're going down, but they really rely on a reliable home range. They don't really move much beyond their home range unless they're a lone male looking for, looking for mates. All right, let's see. Oh yes, look, look, look. Viewing educational animals. Oh, also we need to get like an ATM and things. All right, enter. So let's see, Bulgaria. Um. Oh, and the cassowary just hatched. How exciting. Bulgaria, I'm going to try to give you a tree that you'll climb. I'm really hoping I can find a tree you will climb. Palm tree, maybe? Will you, will you climb the palm tree, Bulgaria? We'll put a couple of those down. Woohoo! Yes? Yes! He's going to- they're climbing, they're climbing! We found a tree they'll climb in turn! Oh, we're finally, finally, finally going to have happy koalas. Oh, I'm so relieved. So relieved. Yes, 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 yes. So they're entertained. We're, we're covered in leaves. I can't see. <laughs> we're, we're stuck in so many tree leaves. Oh. And it was there all along. It was there all along. Oh, look. Now they're climbing. They'll get their exercise in. They'll be happy. And look, we've even... Look at them. Look at them. Intern. Intern. Thanks to t thanks to the wonderful donation from Shorty's Gaming, the gaming company, who absolutely loves koalas. Our koalas are much happier. Oh, that was what I needed for the funding so that we could do the additional research. And now look at them. The koalas are going to thrive. I'm so happy. All right, in turn. Ah, oh, dear. Well, there goes our star. We'll get it back. Don't worry. In fact, I think we better pay attention to what the boss has told us to pay attention to. So let's go take a quick break. I think that we're going to snag an absolutely delicious coconut water. <gasps> Romania is going to give birth. Look at that. We're going to watch her give birth first in turn. And then, then, oh my goodness. I'm so pleased. I'm so pleased. And the koalas are happier. I'm happier. We're going to add more, more, like, greenery to this exhibit. Oh, what a relief. Oh, we're gonna have baby koala, baby koala, baby koala, baby koala, baby koala! Oh my goodness, baby koala! <laughs> oh, and it makes those teensy little noises calling for mommy. It says, Mom, come back! Oh, and she'll come back for it. Don't worry, she's just climbing a tree because she's very excited. And they're mating again. <laughs> Intern. We have happy koalas, and that means a happy, happy zoo, happy zookeeper Siri. Oh, let's go grab a coconut water, and then let's get to our next assignment of the day, which is working a little bit more at making sure, oh, and our dolphin's pregnant, and making sure all of our zoo animals are content, and then we're going to start working more on what our bosses told us to work on before we get in trouble in turn. So I will see you in just a moment, because we're going to take a quick lunch break, and we'll be right back to watch the baby koala. That's so exciting. Thank you. 